All right, did you catch it? There was so much action going on during the Season 7 fight scene beyond the wall that many may have missed it. During the battle beyond the wall, many whites attempted to get to the captured white that they had bound and gagged. When we saw the hound kick the white out of frustration, we saw all the other whites react as if they felt its pain. This certainly proves that they are part of some hive mind as we suspected, but why did the whites try to seemingly rescue the captured white? All right, and really quickly, I want to thank our newest Patreon, Allison Bolivar. Thank you so much, Allison. Really appreciate the support, as well as Legal Jedi for upgrading her pledge on Patreon as well. Really appreciate it, and really appreciate the continued support. All right, so they made sure they showed us this several times during this fight. We saw the white constantly struggling to free itself, and of course, it had previously called out to its brethren in the process of it being captured, which led to them being trapped in the first place. But this begs the question, if the whites are just reanimated mindless zombies, why did they react to one being captured as if they care about it? Also during this standoff, before the fight, as the lake froze over, the hound threw a couple of rocks. The first one, of course, shattered the white's jaw, and the second one made it look down and realize that the lake was frozen enough to support their weight, which caused the fight to start in the first place. This is really odd to me. In other cases, they showed no self-control, yet here it seemed to recognize the situation and react by walking alone toward our band of brothers. This was followed by a few others, and eventually the entire herd. But shouldn't we have seen the Night King or at least some random White Walker make this realization? Of course it seems this was all a setup to be a dragon trap that likely started with Varys being cut as a child, so this has definitely been the making for a long, long time, but that's a separate video. If the Whites are trying to get to the captured White, it's for one of two reasons, to save it or to destroy it. We specifically saw Jon had to put out the fire that another white had started on the captured white. Was the burning white that Beric had hit with his flaming sword trying to save his undead brother or destroy it? If you think they were trying to rescue it, then we have to reconsider how this necromancy thing works. If the Night King is controlling the army of the dead as it seems, why does he care about a single white? They lose them in every single battle. That was the point of him being created in the first place to turn the numbers of men against them. Certainly he doesn't care about one dead man, literally, that has no brain, identity, or self-awareness. Now, of course, if you think that the Whites were trying to destroy the captured White, that certainly implies they didn't want the crew to prove to people south of the Wall, including Cersei, that the threat is real, which of course is really inconsistent with what we've seen before. In both book and show, they leave symbols to communicate they are coming, and how they're created. Even in the prologue of the first book, and in the first episode of Season 1, they let Will or Garrod, respectively, live to tell the tale. And of course, some believe that a White Walker actually saw Sam and just let him live, as opposed to just being editing that allowed us our first good look at a White Walker. So what gives? If they were trying to rescue it, it implies some sense of caring, which requires them to be at least partially sentient. Or you would have to believe that the Night King or the White Walkers that control the Army of the Dead actually care for their army. It certainly contradicts what we have seen in the past. And if they were trying to destroy the White, it implies they want to attack the Seven Kingdoms without warning, which also contradicts what we've seen in the past. Either way, they made sure we saw this happen. This was not an accident. And yes, while this episode had a lot of issues, and in some cases outright plot holes, this was definitely something they were trying to tell us, but what? Give me your ideas in the comments below. Were they trying to save it, or were they trying to destroy it? And what do either of those scenarios tell us? And as usual, thank you for all the support, especially to you guys on Patreon. And a huge shout out to my executive Patreon Smokescreen producers. And thank you to everyone on YouTube as well. And also, if you dig what I do here, please give these videos a like, comment, and a share. And of course, be sure to subscribe to get everything and click that notification bell so you're notified when I drop a new video. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.